वेलकम बैक गाइस दिस इज सेक्शन 5.2 अगेन एंड हियर वी आर इंप्लीमेंटिंग द कॉम्बिनेशनल लॉजिक सर्किट्स ओके सो क्वेश्चन नंबर 4 ओके इंप्लीमेंट ए लॉजिक सर्किट फॉर द टू टेबल इन फिगर 5.9 सो दिस इज द टेबल इन फिगर 5.9 एंड हियर वी हैव टू इंप्लीमेंट इट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ए लॉजिकल सर्किट ओके सो द लॉजिक सर्किट कंप्राइज्ड ऑफ ऑल द इनपुट्स व्हिच इट हैज एंड इट विल गिव अस द आउटपुट इन अकॉर्डेंस विद द इनपुट्स व्हिच आर गिवन to them okay so uh, first of all let me see how many inputs do i have here so i have here the four inputs and those inputs are a b c d and that is also the domain of it okay after what i have to do i have to find the boolean expression for it so to find the expression of it what i have to do again the same procedure i have to see that what are the outputs for which uh, i have got one and have to select the inputs for them and then write them in the form of the sum of the product forms okay so let me see what are the inputs to which what are the outputs to which uh, the inputs are given so the outputs for which it is uh one so this is one here and for it the input is here so this is a 0010 okay so in order to write the expression what i have to do i have to write it in the form of the product which give me one okay so here i have 0010 so therefore it will be a complement b complement c and d complement okay so this is the first one in second one i have this one and for it i have 0011 so it will be what it will be 00 so a complement b complement c d okay the third one here is 0100 so 0100 will give me a complement b c complement d complement because i can see that only b is one here while all the three are zero so in order to make this product to equal to one all of them should be equal to one so therefore i have complemented the zero terms okay similarly here the output for which <coughs> the inputs for which the output is 1 so here it will be 100 so 100 is a b complement c complement d complement similarly here this one 1001 so 1001 okay this one here and this one for which i have got one is 1010 so 10 is complemented one and this is complemented as well the second last one is 1011 so 10 is complemented 1011 and the last one here is all ones so a b c d okay so this is what these are all the terms for which the output is what the for which the output is one so what i have to do i have to add them now in order to make a d uh, product of the sum form so addition of them will give me plus with it this will be added and these are the terms okay so this is what this is the product sum of the product form so this is the required sop form this is for the expression of this truth table okay which we had to find out okay after finding it out what i have to do i have to implement it and in implementing it what i have to do i have to see that how many inputs do i have so the number of inputs i have are four so these are a b c d and these are 1 2 3 4 okay so these are what these are the inputs so let me extend them as well because i will be needing them so these are here okay uh, now i have got these ones so what is the first term here the first term here is let me use this white color for it so the first term here is a b prime c d prime so uh, this is the a b c d prime and i know that i will be needing the complement of them as well so let me first complement each one of them by using this inverter okay so the inverters are here Okay, so these are the inverters, and here I will get a complement, b complement, c complement, 
and they complement okay so after it let me use this uh, white color for all the gates okay or uh, yes this white color for all the other gates so here what i will get this is a b c d and the first uh, as i have one two one two three four five six seven eight number of the um, products so let me use the eight number of and gates okay one two three four five six seven and this is it and each one of them has four inputs okay okay here as well here here as well here four inputs okay and a single output from here so these are the single outputs so what i have to do to each of them i have to give some inputs so let me use the color which is uh, this one so here for the to the first one i will give a complement b complement c d so a complement here will be this one b complement will be this one okay and c is uncomplemented so therefore here it will be and then the d complement okay so here i will get this d complement here as well and here the outputs of them will be a complement b complement c d complement to the second one i have to give a complement b complement c d okay so let me use them a complement will be here okay uh, b complement to the second ones and then c d okay uh, this is the c d this one is c while the d is also here okay so what i will get here i will get a complement b complement c d and this is the output of the second gate for the third one i have to provide it a complement b c complement d complement so the a complement here will be let me use the same one here b is what so let me use this b from here okay this one and c complement is what c complement is from here okay and then the last one is d complement as well so the d complement will be from here okay so what it will be it will be a complement b c complement d complement for the fourth gate i have here these inputs and these are a b complement c complement uh, and d complement uh, okay so the a here is let me use this one here and this one will be here a okay b complement is where so let me use this b complement and here it is okay so let me use this b complement and c complement is let me use the c complement which is here okay and the d complement term the complemented term is will also be here okay so this one is the complemented term and here i will get a b complement c complement the fifth term here is a b complement c complement d so the a here is what let me use it from here okay this is a this is a and b complement is from where is the b complement the b complement is also from here okay this is b complement c complement is from here 
so let me use this one here this is the c complement and then at the end i have to use uh, the d uh, so d is from here okay so let me use this d you can see that how, how complex the process is this is the same procedure which is used inside the circuits and you will see a lot of wires just like this one so this is also a practice for that as well now the sixth term is a b complement c d so let me first use the a so a is here okay then b complement so the b complement term is also here uh, so let me use this b complement term here uh, in order to simplify it let me also write the second last expression and that is a b complement c complement d okay and this is a complement b complement c d a b complement c d so where is the c term so let me use this c term here directly from here okay so it will be here okay so this is what sorry let me redraw it so here i will be having it from here and the last term here is d so d is again here okay so what is the output so a b complement C D. Okay. The second last term is here, and that is A B complement C D. So the A will be from here. Okay. And uh, B complement term. Okay. I think I have made a mistake here because here it was the D complement. It was I have made a mistake here, and this was here. This was here the D complement term. Uh, previously I have used uh, this one so let me use this one here so I have already used this one which is here so let me now implement a b complement c d complement uh, so a is here b complement is where so this is the b complement okay c is here which is also the same one so c is also here now i have to use the d complemented term and the d complemented term is here so here i will have a b complement c d complement okay and the last one is a b c d so a b c d for a b c d what i have to do a will be from here let me use a from here uh, b from where so let me use this uh, b from here okay and a c from c and d from here okay so let me use this c from here and d from here so d here will be Okay. So, what is this? This is basically the uh, implementation of all the products. Now, at the end, what I have to do? I have to add them all together. And for the adder, let me use this circuit. Okay. And here, how many input do it have? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is 7 and this is 8. So, let me add them together. This is the first one. Okay. This is the second one let me redraw it this is the second one the third one is here this is the fourth one fifth one sixth one okay this is the seventh one and the last one is here okay so the output of it will be x which is what which is this expression which i had to find out okay so what is this this is the solution for the question 14 in which we have seen the implementation of all the gates so i hope it is now understandable and i will see you with some more interesting questions in our upcoming video till then take care of yourself and i will see you soon